We got a Calvate here. And he's gonna push me for sure. Uh, we kick that. And we're probably gonna Ragnarok him. I don't really see the Dobatan of Watcher doing too much. Actually, with the bear. Yeah, let's just kick that. We tried to make this work. Shirley Dimitri. Nausicaa fell the bell. Um, let's start with the smug, uh, smuggler. Interesting. Uh, let's Ragnarok him. Never too early to Ragnarok. Let's play Enter Bear. Okay. I can play the crushing trap. This guy is pretty crazy about winning round one. But we don't have a lot of stuff. So the back is gonna get hit. This is a 10. This is like a 5. Although... Can replay. Well, I can actually replay the crushing trap. I'll, uh, he's gonna get hit twice. He's gonna go down to 25. I play this. Uh, I think this is still acceptable. We'll play the album master guy. This is a 10. He's gonna be at uh, 17, but he's gonna get hit once, so it's gonna be a 15. Back dies, he's gonna be at 12, and apparently this should do it. Triggers, he gets hit for 11, he pass. <laughs> and that's uh, round one take. Not the most comfortable one, but I guess that's what we can uh, get away with. <laughs> it would be nice to have some uh, other win conditions for later. Uh, like any of those. Oh, that sucks. We kick that, first of all. Now we have access to all the traps. This is gonna be a Pit Trap, Crushing Trap, and a Mahakamer Horn. Also, we got two Alvin Scouts. Two Dobutana Watchers. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna use those. And I can gamble, but if you get any of these, uh, it's bad. We can also get that. So, there's only one clear upgrade here. So, I guess we should just let it go. Yeah. I suppose we can start with a Hawker Smuggler. Yeah, let's start with a Hawker Smuggler. 
Maybe it's gonna stay alive. So if I play these in the back, the Dryad Matron, every time the Dryad Matron moves, uh, we're gonna get some boosts. Which is gonna be pretty sweet. But first we need to play these guys. In the back. And they they have to survive. Easy. Clearly it's gonna happen. But look at that! He has Regis Bloodthirst. Uh, let's just play a double time, I'm not sure. Again. Gonna give me more points. Ah, uh, would give me more points. Mm. I can play in the back. I can lock that and put it on the other row. But how much, how much time I have? Not a lot. Surprisingly. I need to put down both of these with the horn. I gotta replay a trap. And this should be probably the last played. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave that up. We can start with our Mahakamu Horn in the front. Actually, he might even even blow that up, but there's not much we can do about that. Let's play in the back. We got a five there. That shouldn't matter too much, but it's a little annoying. Oh, time to play something. The Rex that. Jorvitz Shatsuk is gonna be the next. Unfortunately, we only have one crushing trap. You can get lucky. So you like locks? Lock, damage, lock, control, lock. Oh my god, he had a boost. Damage, his fat points. Um. That's kind of nice. So, big trigger. I guess we're gonna pit trap and stop the last card. Not much else we can do. And the move, but the move is not, not gonna be at all useful. Hey, John. No love for Bruver. He's the true winner of this meta. Actually, I just uh, replay the pit trap. We are 23, plus deny a card he plays, plus a Kieran, which is apparently enough. That was an uncomfortable game, but apparently it was good enough. Most underrated OP leader. Yes! 
<laughs> He's really good. GG. Okay. Uh, Elmer Scout gets kicked, and this is kind of okay. Not using ad block 2019. Who? Well, I use. Well, I may use that. I'll give you a battle. Google inserts ads that are irrelevant to your search. Hmm. I don't know how. How is it possible to browse the net without ad block? Like, I wouldn't make a mess, I wouldn't make like a big fuss out of it if it was just like some innocent banner or maybe just something on the side. But that's not how it works. At all. Ever. They always try to uh, get your attention. Which is, I suppose, fair enough. Like, that's exactly what they're paying for. But apparently I read a book about this and the more subtle ads work the best. By far. So, if you're like... A good example of this is, for example, like, uh, game tournaments, and you see, like, uh, AMD and Intel logos in the back, but it's not in your face. But when you actually get an ad of, like, that's in your face, like, buy this shit, and people are just hating on it, Hmm. Rightfully. Uh, let's just go with the anti pair. You, you use the Brave browser. It has built an ad block. I recommend it. Brave browser? Never even heard of it. <laughs> Wait. Guys, I need to know more about this Brave Browser. Cancel. Is Grant is gonna... Grant is gonna crash on me? I don't know. I just got a message that I might be browsing too much. No, guys. We gotta play the Antibear. We gotta play some Crushing Traps here. He already has like stupid amounts of dudes over there. We gotta play this. It functions similarly to Chrome. You won't need to reload anything. But does it have extensions? Because my Chrome has like 20 extensions and my Firefox has like 30. I, I use those both. I also have Opera as a joke. If someone who I really hate asks me to use my computer, then, then he's gonna use Opera. That's how it works. That's my system. I use Google Chrome and install Adblock myself. Hmm. For me, it's all about the extensions. In the past, I was... Well, I was always a huge fan of uh, Firefox. But it's Chrome is kind of getting there, but I still don't trust Chrome. I don't trust Chrome. So... That gets hit. What are we doing here? We are behind by 20 points. Which is objectively considered a reasonable amount. And he's gonna get hit for... Well, he's getting hit for quite a bit. But that's not good enough. He's getting hit for 13, 15 points, but he's gonna gain two more points. I think we gotta play a crushing trap again. 
That's good enough though. Can I play a uh, Kieran and take it? I feel like it's good enough. All the number two. We're down by. I didn't want to do the math, and now I'm gonna get punished. So that's 10 points. I gotta play another guy. What the fuck is this shit, though? Why play value generators when you can just play so much value that the value generators can't keep up? Okay, let's kick that. And the anti bear is gone. Yes, you can get Chrome extensions for it. It can transfer all your files from Chrome too. Oh, look at that. So he's gonna resurrect the big bear. Meister des Swole Blood. Why did you choose it? Just because it's uh Apparently it's the same as Chrome and it's just more secure or more private. Yeah, I think we're gonna need some good cards here. Uh that's that's basically as as we can hope for. Let's Ragnarok dead, man. I hate that guy. This value generator is just stupid. I don't know why they buffed it. It was already really good. Look at this. For 5 points, you get a 5 point value generator. That's incredibly hard to remove. Then actually boosts itself. Has synergy with your other cards. This is the best value generator in the game. I don't get it. <laughs> so that guy's gonna die. But then we're gonna put the Swalbot Priest in the back. Ooh. Uh, Alvin. You can play Pafko Gale, but it's not gonna be very comfortable. I might just go with Elfmeister. <clears throat> Any browser can nowadays. It's fast, secure, looks better, and doesn't track my searches. Likewise, it has uh, its own system of paying websites for me using them instead of seeing ads. Huh? Maybe I, I should look into it more. What is this Brave Browser? Reddit. That's my system, guys. When I want to know something, I go up to the collective wisdom of Reddit. Those guys are gonna know. I need the thoughts about this brave browser. Oh snap. Didn't load. So we gotta throw this in the back. We can lock it. Although we can just move it like that. And play Pafko Gale. Most likely we're gonna play it in the front. 
Ja, maar een crate. Oké, okay. can he kill Pavko for free damage? Not all people know about this brave browser. We gotta play the Elven Scout before we play Jorvid's Gambit. Oh, we can play this guy. Wait, what? Why do you play in the back? I hope the Watcher is gonna die. Well, I wasn't really hoping that Watcher is gonna die, but if some something's gonna die, it should be the Watcher. And hopefully, the Elven Scout is now gonna live. You just believe. Okay, maybe we're gonna Yorvitz Gambit in the front. This is gonna protect the Alvin Scout. And maybe shut down the funny business. Where is not very annoying now. We don't really have a lot of value with the Brewer move. I can just stop down the stop the value generation in the back. Remove the hacker out. And uh play another fog group. I seem to be having some technical difficulties here. Yes, I. Nothing really. Any cool topics you guys can think of? But we can blow up the swap with Priest there. I can move Olaf in the back, if you want to do that. This is going to give me one more point with the, the tree. I can't kill Olaf right away. And I think he's going to do some kind of combo with it. You might just move it out right away. Yeah, we move out Olaf. That's not how we win anyway, so... We got 10 points here with the Avon Scouts. Resurrect the Big Bear. Okay. Now we kill. How does it work? Yeah, we kill. Uh, the Swalwood Priest there. Okay. Still got a good boost. I'm at 47. This is not a problem with this deck. Apparently we can win. Okay. Good points. So these GG. Venezuela, recent Russia US meeting. Wow. Not a small talker, are you? GG.